service to veterans should not be up and down based on the market. It should be a steady flow of resources that veterans need for, especially for their health, their well-being. And then, of course, if there are other benefits, then other benefits too. We're not, you know, we can. I don't know if the Commonwealth will commit to that kind of discretionary spending when they can even make sure that patients on Guam who have ORB are from the Northern Marianas, maybe on medical referral, cannot receive prescription medication. It's, this is a shame. Um, and, you know, here we are uh, celebrating Boboa Park. You know, nothing against the Chamorro uh, House, the House of the Chamorro, but my goodness, at a time when really, there's really no problems here. As we go there, just, uh, you know, mind-boggling sometimes, almost astounding as it is, it's mind-boggling still. Delegate Kilili with sharp criticism of local government priorities as some local officials are off-island while the Deputy Secretary of the VA, Donald Remy, arrived on Saipan Tuesday morning as part of his Pacific listening tour at the invitation of the congressman. Focus now turns to what's happening on the ground as Remy meets with a small group of veterans and tours the NMI's only hospital. When we first got in this job, there was hard, any permanent VA presence on the island. I mean, you know, once in a while people come in. And now we've got, my goodness, you know, we're still short, far short. I mean, just think of our isolation. But, uh, you know, we're still short, but we've still gone a long way. And this is what the secretary needs to see. This is what headquarters VA needs to see and other agencies is that, yeah, we're isolated, but it can be fixed. Kilili has advocated for the establishment of a community-based outpatient clinic in the NMI. He says the distance Remy traveled ought to be a first lesson on how difficult access to care is. We're not just remote in terms of, um, you know, distance, and we are, but also in terms of the services that our veterans get here. We're, I'm not expecting that we should have a world-class, you know, veterans uh, medical center here, but you know, access to those that are available. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, a veteran here in Rota, in Tinian, it's much, even more difficult. He recalled the story of a Rota patient on a wheelchair having to travel by boat to Guam to get treatment. He wants to ensure that never happens again. Tomas Mangwanya for KUAM News.